welcome back. Okay, so I actually just did a little photo shoot. That's why I'm in my gym clothes. I never go to the gym with makeup on or with my hair curled. Anyway, I really wanted to get this episode in um, today because I've uh, been getting up really early and I've been making this really awesome breakfast wrap that I really wanted to share with you guys because I know that I'm not the only person in the morning that has to wake up really early and hates missing breakfast. So this is a really easy recipe that you can prepare overnight and just pop in the oven. You literally don't have to take one dish out for this, which is awesome because I am so OCD with cleaning. So every time I cook, it takes me like an extra like 30 minutes to 45 minutes just to clean the kitchen afterwards because I hate like having a dirty kitchen. Anyway, so um, here it is. Hope you guys like it. Have a great day. Okay, so you're gonna need some tin foil. You're gonna need some tortillas. I like flour tortillas. Um, and I would recommend you buying the burrito size or the extra large size, so these big ones. Um, you're gonna set it down on your aluminum foil. You're gonna need a shredded cheese of your choice. You're gonna need ham, turkey, whatever your preferred breakfast meat is, and you're gonna need eggs. Um, before we start, you wanna preheat your oven to 350, and you're gonna put your tortilla right on the tin foil. Next, you're gonna put your meat of choice on top of the um, tortilla. You wanna put it in the middle right here. I like, I usually like to do three slices of whatever I'm doing. Um, I usually like ham, but all I have is turkey right now. So turkey it is. All right, so three slices down in the middle of the tortilla like so. And then you're gonna get a handful of your shredded cheese of choice and you are going to put it right in the middle like this. I really like cheese, y'all, so there you go, a lot. And you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna kind of burrow a hole in the middle of your little cheese mountain like this. And after that, you have a little hole, little donut looking thing, and you're gonna take an egg You're gonna crack it inside of that little hole. Ta-da! So that's what's, you're gonna take some pepper and some salt. And I usually like to put a little more cheese right on top of the actual egg, just like that. So that's what you're gonna come up with. And then we are going to fold the tortilla. So one side onto the other, and then we're gonna do the sides. And then this is what you're gonna end up with. And right after you do that, we are going to reinforce that seal that we just did by closing it up with the tin foil, like so. And this is what you're gonna end up with, y'all. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna literally stick this directly into the oven. You don't need to put it on any kind of pan um, like this. And you wanna set your timer for 25 minutes. Bam. And that's it. Uh, you just wait 25 minutes and I'm gonna show you the end result. It's like amazing. Uh, the fun thing about this is that you can um, put, add whatever ingredients you want. Sometimes, like this morning, I actually had made one for myself and I added some spinach in there. If you want to do that, any kind of veggies would be delicious. Um, okay, so it's been exactly 25 minutes. I'm gonna get this baby out of here. And usually I will wait. Um, I usually literally just take it in that uh, aluminum foil uh, wherever I go, kind of like to go. I wait till it cools and then I just eat it kind of out of the tin foil. Um, but I want to show you how it looks on the inside. So I'm going to come um, down, down the middle so I can just show you. And again, my favorite part about this is that you can pre-make it the night before. So usually I'll like um, put the egg, the ham, and the cheese, and the tortilla, close it up in the tin foil, and put it in the, in the um, fridge. And then in the morning, all you have to do is put it in the oven. So, let me show you guys. So, this is 
is what to expect. There go. And I'm gonna cut it down the middle for you guys. You can kind of play around with how you like your egg. If you like it super runny, I, this is like perfect for me. Uh, a little bit runny, not too runny, but you get a little bit of that. Looks really awesome and it tastes even better. Um, if you want, you know, your yolk to be a little harder, simple, just put it in there for longer, maybe 30 minutes instead of 25, or you can raise the, raise the temperature a little bit. So we had it set for 350, maybe put it at 400 and see how you like it. But anyway, you can play around with it and um, again, play around with the ingredients, add whatever you want. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.